Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about a city that carries lots of my memories in the United States, Boston. I visited Boston for the first time in 2019, and I was in love with the city the moment I arrived at South Station. It was chilly outside, lots of cars, European look buildings, and lots of people who look like me. I love the diversity here. Boston is not as bustling as New York City, not as quiet as Westminster where I went to college. It is somewhere in between. That's why I decided to move to Boston right after graduation, even though at that time I didn't even know what to do with my life. On December 12, 2021, I carried two suitcases, one backpack, and a pillowcase, mentally and physically ready for my flight to Boston. I was clueless most of the time when people asked me why I moved there. And I just came up with different answers each time I got asked. Have you found a job yet? <laughs> no. Do you know anyone working in your field there? No. Then why do you move to Boston? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't know. I could be employed. I could be unemployed. Doesn't matter. I'm just a fresh graduate. After all, I would just consider it an experience. For now, I just want to be here and immerse myself into this place. Then life made me busy making a living. And I had to admit that I sometimes forgot to acknowledge the beauty of this city. Two months before returning back to Vietnam, I decided to go out at least once a week to eat, hang out with my friends, and explore Boston more. Just wandering around Harbor Walk, I could observe different people doing different activities there. Reading, doing homework, walking a dog, or just simply sitting in one place looking to the sea. And I felt peaceful. People are right. Sometimes you just need a little bit of vitamin C. It can actually blow your stress away. Well, at least mine. Turning my back around, I saw the city. Everyone was moving in their own ways. My positive self would say, let's move forward like they're all doing here. But my negative self would say, well, seems like they all have their life together. Why don't I? <laughs> if you want to get that mixed feeling, just go outside on a chilly day, walk slowly, look at others on the street, and then look at the sky. That's it. Thanks to the diversity here, I had a chance to try so many restaurants. I had my favorite ramen in Cambridge. I had my favorite Korean fried chicken in Austin. My favorite poke bowl in Huntington Avenue and so on. I don't eat to live. I live to eat. I also love Boston because of the people I met there. For some reasons, a lot of my Vietnamese friends chose Massachusetts, especially Boston, to study. My cousin Tien, my bros Quốc Anh and Simon, my high school friend Lum, another childhood friend named Andrew, and a frequent visitor from New Jersey, Nhung. Besides those wonderful friends, I got to create new connections with Anh Tuấn, Chị Hoa, my lovely T, Anh Hoa, Anh Hiện, Em Tuấn Anh, Cô Phượng, Cô Thủy, Chú Diêu, Chú Hiêu, Chú Phát, Chú Hùng, Harry, and Amigo Danny. Thank you all for coming to my life and making it much more special. I learned and grew up a lot within six months knowing all of you. And now I am in Vietnam enjoying my new chapter of being an adult. But I'll never forget Boston, the city that gave me not only laughter, but also blood, sweat, and tears. Everything happens in Boston, stays in Boston. Thank you, goodbye, and see you one day.